where he's went on to meet there Wayne Cousins, the police officer, or the servant police officer at the time, who went on to kill Sarah Everard, raped her, murdered her, took her off the streets, put her in his car, pretended he was arresting her, and went on to kill her. So two of Britain's most twisted murderers have become firm friends behind bars. Now I've done a video previously, I've done a couple of videos on Wayne Cousins because I, I do a whole life series, which I'll be putting this one into the whole life series where people that are doing life without parole. I've done about 20 up till now. There's about 100 altogether and there's still 70 people serving the sentence and these are two of them who have actually now become friends in Franklin Prison and they're living together. And the video that I've done on him previously, I've done a one on talking about his crime and I've also done a one talking about what happens to police officers in prison. So at some point throughout his sentence he will become attacked and so will David Fuller, the morgue monster, because people like this are number one priority for target attacks in prison. Even on the VP wings, which is the vulnerable prisoner wing, where the beasts go, they will become under attack at some point throughout the sense because they can't be kept protected 24-7. Right, so a source told how the pair bonded after being banged up on the same wing at HMP Franklin in Brasside County, Durham. He said we call them the odd couple. Former Met Officer Cousins who worked as a mechanic before he joined the police enjoys chats with electrician Fuller who like him lived in Kent. Our source said they know some of the same areas from back in the day. The idea of them swapping stories churns my stomach. Cousins 48 was handed a whole life tariff last year after using his job as a cover up to kidnap and that word there marketing worker Sarah in Clapham, South London. Her murder in March 2021 sparked a national outcry and a fresh focus on ending violence against women. Fuller, 67, who I've just mentioned, I'll not go into that. <clears throat> so Fuller was given a sentence without parole, a life without parole, the same as Cousins, and that is why they'll be coming friends in prison. So, sorry. Just seeing what else this says here, because that goes into another story, that one, but... Um, Cousins and Fuller are not the first friends to become friends behind bars. So, obviously, that's the story that I'm talking about. David Fuller mentioning his story, he's serving life without parole, and that he's met Wayne Cousins in prison. But, as it says here, they're not the first ones or the first monsters to become friends behind bars. So, I'll just talk a little bit about them. So, Karen Matthews in 2008 kidnapped her own daughter Shannon in a bid to get a 50 grand cash reward, struck up a friendship with convicted killer Bernadette McNeely in jail. The pair bonded after being banged up together at Foston Hall Prison in Derbyshire and even kept in touch with Matthews when Matthews was free during her eight years sentence. Murderer McNeely was released in 2015. She spent 21 years behind bars for setting fire to 16-year-old Suzanne Kappa in 1992. Meanwhile, paedophile Roy White in 63, who murdered schoolgirl Sarah Payne in 2000, is said to have become pals with child raper Sidney Cook, 94, at HMP Wakefield. And black cab rapist John Warboy, 64, is said to have become friendly with Millie Dowler killer Levi Belfield. A spokesman for the prison service said last night, we do not comment on individual prisoners. So that is the story of David Fuller, who is dubbed the monster in the morgue. Now there is a series just come out, I believe. I haven't actually watched it yet, but I might watch it and give it a breakdown and let you know what I think of it. But yeah... Uh, <clears throat> Like it says, they're unlikely people who have come become friends or unlikely monsters that have become friends in prison. It's not unusual for that because, like I've mentioned, in Franklin Prison, it's full of monsters now, and that's become known as Monster Mansion. 
even though Wakefield Prison is the original monster mansion, uh, Franklin has become known as that because of the likes of him, David Fuller, Wayne Cousins, Levi Belfield, Ian Huntley. The worst of the worst is in that prison at the moment, and that's why it's now become known as Monster Mansion. But I hope you enjoyed that, people. I will be doing more content soon. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please go down, double check, click that subscribe button. It costs nothing to subscribe to my channel. And if you are subscribed, please make sure you've hit that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. But again, I've got loads of content coming up. I've got about 400 videos that I've done previously. If you haven't seen them all, go back, give them a watch. There's plenty there for you to get through. And again, as always, thanks for watching. And if you are enjoying it, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Take care, people. Enjoy the rest of your day.